welcome to one and all, honorable judges, respected teachers and my dear friends. Today, I stand before you to express my views on the topic, Harnessing Light, Possibilities and Challenges. On 20th December 2013, the United Nations General Assembly proclaimed 2015 as the International Year of Light and Light-Based Technologies. It was a global initiative to highlight the importance of light and optical technologies for people and society. We live in a world bathed in light. We, human beings, plants and animals, fulfill our basic needs with light. Light is at the core of technologies from computing to surgical techniques. Light influences our lives in ways that we could have never imagined decades ago. In the coming years, light will play an even more significant role in fiber optic communications, new modalities in the practice of medicine, a more effective national defense, explorations of the frontiers of science, optogenetics, and much more. Coherent property of lasers had made possible fiber optic communications, compact discs, laser surgeries, and a host of other applications like femtosecond photography can be used to watch biomolecules break and make their bonds, which helps us to understand the mechanism of photosynthesis. Change, please. Applications of incoherent light abound as well, including optical lithography systems for patterning computer chips, high reduction microscopes, adaptive optics for earthbound astronomy, infrared sensors from remote controls to night vision equipments. Compact and robust high powered lasers are used in industries for printing, cutting, welding and marking. One of the major challenges that this technology faces is its reliability at higher operating temperatures and the improvement of poor intrinsic beam and spectral properties. Scaling up the power also requires a complex and costly assembly of lasers into stacks. Change please. We know optical fibers are being installed worldwide at a rate of 1000 meter every second comparable to the speed of a Mac 2 aircraft. Meeting the computing and communication needs require advances across a broad front. Transmission, switching data storage and displays. Many capabilities will have to advance a hundredfold. Although institutions have access to the rapidly growing high speed telecommunication network, but the infrastructure is not yet in place to provide individual consumer the access that fully exploits the power of the system. Another challenge is the diffraction limit of light due to which close signals start bending towards each other and interfere with each other. Change please. Carbon 3D printer use light to sculpt and solidify the liquid converting it into the desired object. One of the major challenges it faces is its reliability for mass production. Biophotonics is being used to study tissues and blood at the micro and macro level to detect, diagnose and treat diseases in ways that are non-invasive to the body. It is a new multidisciplinary frontier which uses light matter interactions for bioimaging, sensing diagnostics and light induced therapies. It uses a non-linear optical phenomenon for bioimaging and light induced therapies. Employing these in the new multimodal imaging approach enables chemically selective imaging and probing of the local macromolecular content in biological species. In looking to the future, an affordable infrared system for military uses and high quality components with deep ultraviolet wavelengths are two of the major challenges faced by the optical industry. Change please. Optofluidic solar lighting system could capture sunlight from a roof using a light concentrating system that follows the sun's path by changing the angle of water refraction and then distribute throughout the building. One of the major challenge optofluidics faces is to maintain the precision of nano and micro light and fluid manipulation while creating industrial sized installations large enough to satisfy the population's energy demand. Upscaling the power also requires optical fiber to transport light throughout the building and into the biofuel reactors to produce energy. An optical thin film blocks light propagation except for selected angle of incidence wave vectors that makes free space communication clearer than ever. These metasurfaces can reflect 
or refract radiation at a precise set of frequencies which affects intriguing tunnel vision applications. Eliminating the effects of stray light and the light scattered by environmental particles may significantly improve the signal to noise ratio of observation. In the end, I would like to say that a number of technical challenges remain to be overcome before the ultimate goal of fiber to the home can be achieved. One of the major challenges is the development of this new technology which reduces the cost of optical components, packages and systems. Another challenge is the combined technical regulatory issue of lifeline power that is enabling communication during emergencies if the customer's premises lose power. We expect optics to be recognized as a discipline just as computer science has over the past few decades and to be recognized as such in all the institutions all around the world. Thank you.